Obesity has now been associated with inflammatory bowel disease um, and this is a new field because uh, so far people were thinking of malnutrition and undernutrition in patients with uh, inflammatory bowel disease. But indeed, uh, obesity does not stop uh, in the population of IBD patients. And in particular, in Crohn's disease patients, uh, it turned out uh, that obesity is a particular risk. Therefore, we included now uh, obesity as a new topic uh, in the new guideline. We included uh, a few new uh, recommendations. One of them is about uh, prevention of inflammatory bowel disease and uh, this is about ultra-processed food uh, because there are new data showing that ultra-processed food is a particular risk factor uh, for the development of uh, inflammatory bowel disease, namely Crohn's disease. And beside ultra-processed food is also the emulsifiers uh, that play a role in this respect. Another area of uh, new things is um, the um, the um, CD exclusion diet, the Crohn's disease exclusion diet, which is a nice alternative for um, the enteral nutrition tube feeding in patients with mild to moderate um, uh, Crohn's disease. This is uh, very strongly supported by data for uh, the pediatric field, but uh, more recent data show that it might also apply for the adults. Therefore, we included now this uh, particular type of diet in the new update of the, our guideline.